Good morning, John Lane. Fraser Valley News, your morning news update for this Saturday, August the 29th. And on the go today, another gorgeous day. A uh, little bit on the muggy side. And you can definitely tell it feels almost like fall first thing in the morning. Overnight lows around 10 or 11. But highs in the mid-20s. And that's the basically the forecast for the rest of the week as well. A uh, joint statement from the city of Abbotsford and Fraser Health on their COVID numbers that came out. Uh, and explaining... Yeah, 454 so far, but a lot of those were isolated uh, pockets and incidents. Uh, and, and the same thing goes for Mission as well. Mission Institution, uh, Pacific Institution. There were a couple of frozen fruit package plants uh, in Abbotsford as well as there was an ad outbreak a couple of months ago at uh, Abbotsford Hospital. But having said that, Safety protocols, distancing, and such still has to be maintained. We're not out of this at all. Uh, Rotary Book Sale in Chilliwack. Usually it's in the fall. It's going to be today, outdoors, one day only, at the new Rotary Building on Wolf Road in uh, Chilliwack, not far away from Townsend Park. Uh, Chilliwack Leisure Center. The pools are going to be open in a week, September the 8th. And remember, this is uh, not a long weekend this weekend. It's the oddity where we get about a week's worth of September, then we get to Labor Day. So not this weekend, next weekend. Two members of the Fraser Valley Bandits making the All-CEBL All-Star Team on the second All-Star Team. So congratulations to them. If there's something we should know about, let us know. FVN at Shaw.ca. FVN at Shaw.ca. Be safe on the roads because it's going to be a great weekend, so everybody's going to try and get out of Dodge. And again, social distancing. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News.